Welcome back guys. Thank you for joining us back on the channel, our Ponty to Prem playthrough episode 9. We are literally coming towards the end of the digits. We won't have anything else to count with, just our minds. You join us at a fantastic time. It's been a brilliant start to the season. It's exactly what we needed to kickstart our attack, our siege on the number one spot in the league. Let's go straight to the league table. We have played, because a stupid odd amount of teams in this league, we have, we're in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, boy. We've got three games in hand on Stocksbridge. Cleethorpes are the people that are ahead of us. But we're up amongst it. We're in around it. Our form has been great. If we look at the schedule, we haven't lost a game all season, apart from the first one that you, <laughs> that you saw us lose. It's the only game we've lost, including pre-season, so it's going well. It's going well. Today, we'll go through what we've, uh, a few games um, prior, a few changes in the squad as well, but we're taking on Hampton and Richmond. Who are you? In the FA Cup third round qualifier. I want to win a cup. I want to win a cup. Is it going to be the FA Cup? No. However, our finances are shot, and I'll show you in a moment. And then we'll take on Dunstan in the league and see if we can continue on our fantastic run. But if we look at finances, oh, oh dear me. Help me, I'm poor. No, listen. This is like, we get a little bit of money from the club, sink into oblivion, get a bit of money from the club, oblivion, club, oblivion, club. And we're really, really looking in. In a bit bad, a bit, a bit poor. We need to get out of this league. We need to progress as fast as possible if we have any hope of doing anything with this team. Change-wise, change-wise, we have brought in another player. I swear we brought in another player. One eternity later. Everybody, please welcome Andrew Nelson, who is uh, our new player at the back. Really, really good. Uh, he's exactly what we need. A little podgy little face. Look at him. Um, very good defender. Can play at centre back, right back, and left back, so he's great cover. He does play, he's now our number one uh, centre back next to Sam's. So they, they're making a great partnership. Obviously, cost us nothing, making that play number 19 in the squad. Brand new squad. But the tactic familiarity has got a lot better. Nice. I'm going to go into some games. We've had some beauties, some sublime performances in the team. Performances like we had against. Uh, who even are you? Good one. Haybridge, that's right. Haybridge, Swifts, Friedman, Agnew. He's been playing quite well, but I may move him on. We'll, I'll show you next week. What a goal. Really good composure from Friedman. Really, really good. He's playing in a Newcastle kit, our old uh, Agnew getting a goal. The old Swifts. Greenwood finds McNiven to Agnew. Sends McNiven. And it's a lovely tap in for Giles. Told you. Good sub. Sitting on the bench. And again, the team seems to be getting a lot better. A really good goal from Giles. Fantastic goal from Giles. The team now, the, the tactic is, the problem is when you move a lot of players in, the tactic familiarity, quite rightly, drops. And until they get used to it, great goal there from Reese, the youngest ever goal scorer now. He was like, just turned 16, I think. So yeah, very good match there. Controlled it from the start. 3.64 on the XG. Outstanding. And then after Haybridge, uh, we were uh, before Haybridge. We had eight goal through against Yorkshire Amateurs. You saw Haybridge five 0 Then we went on a run. Brillington, Sheffield. And then we had Easton. In this game, as you can see, we got two goals in the 80th minute, and then they got a last minute winner. And then we went on to smash them four 0 Another hat trick from Marcus Giles. We played Brighouse. We've moved uh, Kutchins to the right. Um, he seems to be doing really well there. He's got the stats, physical stats to keep up pace-wise. But lovely orange kits here from Brighouse. Metcalf. Remy, what a goal from Remy. Our new boy wonder. Metcalf, all our teams are so young because everyone's just out of contract at this level. Don't really get many old people. Pearson, good finish from Pearson. The old man in the team now. I think he might be nearly 18 years old. Metcalf pulling the strings. I really want to keep hold of uh, Lovick. Uh, you'd think there'd be a penalty. Shins are getting his goal. What I want to do is try and hold on to some of these players as long as possible. With them being so young, we can develop them into, into players that are, you know, legends of the club. Actually build some legit legends. No one come to watch the Mighty Coles play. I feel like everyone else has got a better stadium than us as well. I know that I know the standards are low, but this is a nice little stadium, Brighouse. I think they must rent this from another team. Lovick. 
after his sending off has been playing much better. Giles back to Remy. Awful goalkeeping there. Should never have gone. <laughs> Should never have gone in. Doing the best impression of Muscle White there. But another fantastic win. We actually beat. So we went on then to beat Maltby Main. Great. Good win. We beat Lemington. I was very happy to beat Lemington. They're in the Southern Premier League Central. But I know Lemington. I've managed them before. This is the team that's actually has been in the game. It's been in the dizzying heights of Conference Football and Conference North Football. So I was very, very happy to get a win against them in the FA Cup. And we beat Yorkshire Amateur in a 4-3 thriller in the Integro Cup. Should we go for the Integro Cup? I do want to win a cup. And obviously, we're not going to get many opportunities to play in the Integro Cup. I've never heard of it before. We might, you know, depends how well we do in other competitions. League is obviously always priority at this level, but it'd be nice to pick up a cup. I tend not to. Um, but five minutes in, Walsh on the wing, and we can see the header to O'Hara. He's our nemesis. <laughs> hate that man. Potts, I truly hate O'Hara. Wickham, Hall, Wilson beats Agnew. And an absolute worldie, as you'd expect from Wilson. The wrong kind of Wilson, not our Wilson with Newcastle. Tap to Agnew. Wade with a rocket of his own. Great finish from Wade. Making it 2-1. They then got a man sent off. You can see here, uh, Lewis Wickham went off. And then the comeback was on. Agnew to Lovick. Found Reese. Reese, 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 Reese. He's a bit of a baller, isn't he? He loves going into that channel as the two strikers take away the defenders. O'Hara. O'Hara, oh, I, 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 I truly, truly despise this man. Stop scoring against me. That made it three all. Up steps a hero in the form of Giles and Lovick. Oh, last minute. Unbelievable. In the 89th minute of the game, and we got through by the skin of our teeth. But as you can see, it's full rotation team. Full rotation team. And that's been it. We've not lost. Apart from the first game, which was so if we scroll down here, we've not lost. Um, the team that is taking on uh, Hampton and Richmond is Akers, Fergus, Tap, Greenwood, Wade. These have been doing quite well as a little unit. Metcalf, McNiven, Rangel, Reese, Gooden, and Giles. We've got a good uh, bench. Everyone here is the third part of the first team. So if needs be, we can bring people on to to help out. But let's get into this match. Whoa, look at all these scores. I've also checked on how to turn off the advice, and all I can see is that you turn off everything, so it takes all this off. So we'll just have to put up with the stupid advice that we get. We'll just have to get rid of it. Stavru to Young. All the way, not a header. They've hit the post and then Akers. How's that not gone for a corner? Never mind. Oh, well, they're piling it on. Young, and they've missed the near post header there. Here we go. Wade, who has been doing quite well. His stats are awful. He's like Green now, but he's doing well. Wade finds Rangel. Oh, Xiao Rangel beats his man. He's a tall man as well. Metcalf. Great ball in. McNiven! The old guard. McNiven. Well done, McNiven. He can't run. Technically, mentally, very gifted footballer. Rangel on the wing. Can't find the cross. Wade. Build, patient build up here. Patient build up and a great goal there from McNiven. 1 0 to the Coles. You find that Akers keeps getting a lot of um a lot of good. Oh, I thought I was going to sneak through. A lot of good form is what we needed. i probably replace him for next season. Depends on the level. I don't know how the level goes up. I imagine if that flew in after me giving, <laughs> giving Akers a lot of uh, praise. This team have come to play. Are we? They, they, they're, they're putting up a good old fight here. It's all Richmond. Young. Shakes off the challenge. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Their player, Francis Clark. Barrett, ball in, here's a goal. Yeah. We, con we concede a lot of goals from byline crosses into the six-yard area. Oh, wait, I was... Look, they've got a bit of an overload there with two players and then Bartlett with a great ball in. What is this, children? What are we doing? Got three of you at the edge of the box. One, Honestly, stop giving me advice. Gondo, Shields, 
ball pumped forward. Daniel, Daniel. Oh, keeper was very confident that was going wide. He was not playing so well. Gooden. He's not having a good one. Full of the puns. And that's going to be half time. Happy with the performance. Keep it up. Reese and Gooden aren't playing well. Gooden's away. McNiv. Metcalf. Oh, Metcalf. That's the first time I've seen you lose the ball. Yes, tap. I do like tap. Reese. Oh! <laughs> oh! Aaron Reese is not playing well. Doesn't matter. He's got 13 long shots, mate. Oh my word, what a cannon of a shot. I had to blink, I had to do a double take there because Metcalf lost the ball, but one back by tap. Fergus finds Reese in space and he just, oh my word. <laughs> this game is so broken at this level, but I love it. It makes for good watching. Get in, get the fuck in. Before this comes in, Gooden is not having a decent match, not going to say it. On comes Pearson. Rangel. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. Oh, top, not ahead. Oh, they've hit the bar. We are living dangerously. Tap on the ball. Launches it forward. Andy Pearson now on the pitch. Young. Oh, that player I can't pronounce. Just launches it at our goalkeeper. And that's a, and that's a goal. And that's a goal. Akindayini. Akindayini. There you go. Bit of effort, bit of practice. We can say Akindayini. Shields, Uche, Young, to Slew, to Daniel. Good finish, but I mean, it's hard to bear when the keeper just, the animations, I mean, come on. Can we highlight straight from the kickoff? Can we hit them back? Greenwood. We've got solid centre-backs in cover. Reese, Fergus, Pearson, finds Wade, Rangel, to Metcalf. Fergus Metcalf. Can he find someone? No, he loses the ball again. Oh my god, Metcalf. No. No, Metcalf, keeper. No. Oh my word. Metcalf, how are you having a seven, mate? You're having a meh. Oh, I've skipped there. <laughs> so sorry. Sorry, I skipped the replay. That's force a habit. I must apologize, Hampton. In, Red, in Red, Richmond. Richmond, that's right. I'm sorry, Richmond. Rangel wins the ball. Oh, my word. Rangel, that's probably going to be the last thing you do. Oh, Daniel's bearing down on goal. Can the goalkeeper do something magical here? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Acres. Whoo. Good save. That's his job, isn't it? Rangel, you are not playing well. On comes Lovric, Lovic. Uh, numero uno player. Come on, boys. 3-2. We can't come out of the FA Cup. Come on. We need the, we need the funds... Oh, Greenwood wide. Been praising my defenders. And that's the reason why we're losing. Pearson wins the ball. He's not known for his height and strength. Come on, Pearson. Uh, Walker's away. Launches it over. They have been playing better than us. I would say that they've had the better chances. Oh, keeper's going to be not tested. Yeah, it covered. Acres had it covered, mate. Don't doubt him. Can we hit them on the counter or is it their chance? Their chance. And it's gone begging again. Again. Another chance for... They're really going for the kill. They've hit the bar. How has that not gone in? Just lump it forward, boys. That's it. Oops. Transition. <laughs> All right. No, too little, too late. Ah. Ah, it's very disappointing. We kind of needed a run for the money. We are in a lot of debt. See, it's only £1,000, but still, that could have been £1,000 we used. Never mind. Right, we'll move on to the next game. We need a win now. We can't drop any points in the league. We've got a lot of pressure on from other teams. Let's uh, get the team lined up. Well, I'll bring you back at the, at the team lineups. Few moments later. I bring you back to Elijah Dixon Bonner, a player I've had in a few saves before. Look at this. Look at this player. He is by far, he will be by far our best player in the entire squad. And I have him down for our roaming playmaker role. 
He is incredible. He's only 21 years old. I've shifted out. If we look here, he's, I've got a contract offer here. I've shifted out some of the players on contracts where I could move them on for free. So if we look here, okay. Hasn't shown you leave, but basically we've got rid of Agnew, uh, Arnold, and a few others. And if we can get Dixon Bonner in, what a coup. This is the sort of player who can keep in the team until, you know, we're a couple leagues up at the very least. So high hopes on him. Here is the number one team. We've got Akers, Kutschinza, Sams, Nelson, Bollinger, Metcalf, Lovick, Walters, Remy, Freeman, Pearson. Let's go straight into it. Up the coals. Here we go. First highlight, quarter of an hour in. Pearson on the wing. Bollinger powering through the midfield. Finds Friedman. Can he find a teammate support? Is Remy. Remy's powering through. And Remy scores an absolute beauty of a goal. He's really finding his form now. 1-0 to the Coles. Oh, could those tens of fans cheering. Don't know why they sat so far up. They could sit at the front. Might be raining. Who knows? Friedman finds Remy. And he just sees the space and goes for it. What a finish. What a finish. 1-0. The Bergestans are very happy. We've got Bergestans now. I swear there were bins. It might be the other side. I swear we had bins there before. We're going up in the world. Metcalf. We haven't scored many corners. And we will continue not to score many corners. Bollinger. Finds Walters. Finds Pearson. Ball across the box. Dealt with by Dunstan. Bollinger. Powering through to the byline. Can he find someone? No. Walters, he, can you try to find someone this time? No. And here come Dunstan. Unless Kutchins has got anything to say about it. And there. Counter-attack's lost all momentum. Metcalf picks it back up in midfield. Remy finds Walters. Can he beat his man? He can. Finds some space. Whips that ball in. Remy! Oh, the goal! <laughs> And the goalkeeper. I mean, it's the second goal for Remy. Well done, Remy. But what is the goalkeeper doing here? It looked like we headed it at the goalkeeper. He's panicked and thrown it in his own net. We'll just have to wait and see. Walters is on the wing. Gets his delivery in very well. Remy. Yeah, keeper just has it and falls into the net. Fine. We had a lot of shithousery like that last year from uh, Muscle White. So don't mind. Don't mind that. Remy finds a ball up to Pearson. Beaten in the air. Remy, this is the Remy show. All ball on the top to Pearson. Can he kill this game off? Whoa, Pearson, lad. Calm it down. He's 17 years old. He was thinking of Minecraft. He's, uh, or TikToks. Balling for Metcalf. Sam's. Blah. Composure needed. We don't move anywhere, but with so many games in hand. Metcalf. Oh, what a header from Nelson. Andrew Nelson. 3 0. Come on. Very, very, very well played. Metcalf. Say we didn't score enough corners. Bang. <laughs> What's the keeper doing? Their keeper's having a muscle white. That's what we're going to call it. Doing a muscle white. Just before half time, can they strike back? It would be very much like Pontefract. Oh, and we've caught a break. Offside. Miles offside. Look at this. Look at this, Mick Tech. Oh, look at that. X ray vision from the Lino. Give him a free burger. Oh, there are the bins. Oh, yeah, it was the opposite side. It was four bins now. Growing in popularity. Yeah, only happy with that. Now, don't... I was literally about to say, do not concede in the second half. Can we please keep a clean sheet? Is it possible? No. What a, what a goal from Muanda. What an outrageous goal that was. Ball in. I'm asking you, can we keep a clean sheet in the second half? Um, team say, actually, boss, no, whack. Oh, <laughs> another worldy, another absolute outrageous Steven Gerrard-esque goal. We need to pin them back. That's their first shot on target, I believe. That counted. Kuchinza, ball over the top. Can Pearson bring this down? He absolutely can with an amazing touch. Pearson, looking for support. He has it from Walters. Can he get his second assist of the game? He lumps that ball in. Lovick. What is their keeper doing? Oh, I thought Kutchinza was going to score an absolute banger. But he doesn't. We're in control. I'm not too worried. I'm a little worried, though. Scale of 1 to 10, I'm always worried about 7. Even if we've got three goal 
lead because we throw away leads. Ah, uh, for fun. Bollinger, Nelson rockets it up to no one. And so oh, Sassy picks it up. Uh, Mason. Fight back here from Dunstan. Mason. Keeper's going to be called in. If they're at the bar. Get to the ball. What a tackle. What a tackle from Kutshinza. That is a goal-saving tackle. Outrageously good there. Fantastic. Clear this. Kutshinza at the front post. Go on, lad. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Change is needed. Metcalf is a bit tired. Finn can play there. Lovric's now the best of games. On comes Rangel. Harrison. Butterworth. Ball over the top. Keeper's going to deal with it. I don't... I just don't have any confidence in Keeper. Sorry, Acres, mate, but I just don't have any confidence. After the things... The things I've seen... If you've seen the things I've seen, you would not be confident with a goalkeeper at this level. Sam's going on a bit of an adventure there. Kutshinza. Lovely pass to Remy. Remy's gone quiet in the second half. Ball over the top from Kutshinza. He's, he's picked up Remy's... Oh! What an audacious effort there from Friedman. Trying to chip the silly goalkeeper in their net. Morale still high. Pearson. Balling it. Pearson. I'm always wary when we start in their half. Remy. What can he do? Pearson. Walters. We're all queuing in the box. Do something. Ball. Pearson. Off the line. Oh. Oh. What a mad scramble that was. What can, is that Bollinger? What can Bollinger do? Oh, <laughs> that goalkeeper makes everything look hard work, doesn't he? Oh, my word. Like, I'm not much better in the net, but oh, not better at all. I'm probably about that good. Lowry, is this going to be their replay? Don't think so. Although they've, Uche's away. Get that tackle in tap. Good lad. What do you do when you put a centre back into a roaming playmaker? He just starts hitting people. Andy Pearson has not lived up to expectations. Giles is on to finish off the match. Need to see this game out. Uh, let's have a look. Has any Cleethorpes have been beaten? I just saw Cleethorpes are losing three 0 That is a big result for us because they are pushing for the title as well. Tap. Remy. Ball over top to Giles. Dealt with by Baxter. Uh, nearly went in from their goalkeeper. Deal with it, Sams. Well played. Rangel now. Freeman. Giles. Oh, lovely play to Rangel. Guangzhou. Guangzhou. Finds balling it. Ooh. Just over the bar. And that's it. That is it. Big, big win for us, that. Big, big win. And the march to the title continues. Well, let me have a look at the results. I'm pretty sure I saw Cleethorpes losing 3-0. Heaven doing us a huge favour. Cleethorpes lost. We're now tied with games and points with Cleethorpes. That is a huge result. Stocksbridge. Stocksbridge lost as well. We've got four games in hand on them. It's all to play for, guys. It is all to play for. Did we get Dixon Bonner? Well, we'll have to see. You can see we're paying big, big money for Dixon Bonner. We'll have to see how, in the next episode, whether or not he signs for us. Let's remind you how good he is. Oh! Oh, he's so good. Only 21. Can improve a little bit. But thank you again for your loyal support, all six people that watch me. Uh, but if you made it this far, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, comment below. Do you think that we're spending our money right on Dixon Bonner? We also had a striker that I might go for. Uh, do you think we're going to win the title? Put it down below. I want to see some comments. And as always, take care.